is in fact register number eight, right? You know, go figure. Um, and then in terms of endianness here, uh, we, we said that uh, what we mean by, by endianness is essentially the way in which the bytes are ordered in memory, right? Uh, so it's either you could decide to say you're gonna order the, the data from um, the, well, uh, from the least significant bit to the uh, most significant bit or the most significant <coughs> bit to the least significant bit relative to the lowest memory address, right? Um, so in terms of uh, little endian here, uh, what we discovered was that in fact the, um, the least significant byte is stored in the lowest memory location. But for big endian, it's the opposite, right? The most significant byte is stored um, in the lowest memory location. Um, something else we, I don't know if we, may, we probably did mention this, we mentioned that uh, when you're playing around with SPIM, it, depending on what sort of, I guess, computer you're working with, it might just turn out that uh, the endianness that you observe might be different from a, a person who's using a completely different machine. I can't quite give an example right now, but it turns out that the way these SPIM simulators like QT SPIM work is they present to you information based on the endianness used on the host machine. So like in my case, um, in my case, in my case, my machine uses, my machine uses a uh, little engine. So what I see in, in SPIM, when, I, when I'm viewing data in memory in SPIM, I'll view that data like from the perspective of little engine. Um, I, I do know that uh, certain, I guess certain, is it Mac based machines or something? I don't know if that's what they're called. At some point used a uh, big engine, but I, I can't quite give an example of something else that uses big engine, right? Um, so, but it's, it's essentially just the way in which memory is organized. Like, so this particular example is showcasing little engine. Why? Uh, because we are, well, incidental, we are, we are storing ICT 1110. Right? Well, it's in base 10, but we know that we can, we can actually view this data. It's in binary in memory, but then we can also view it in hexadecimal, right? So this is ICT 1110, and what we're doing is we are ordering the least significant bit first, and then we have the most significant <coughs> byte here, right? ICT, I mean, so not ICT 1110. 1110 base 10 converted to hexadecimal is 456. So in fact, what this, this stream of data would be organized as, would be organized in QT SPIM, like on my machine, is it would be like so. Um, 000456, right? Uh, because this is the most, uh, this is the, the, the most significant byte, yeah? But if we flip things around, if we're using big endian, it's the opposite. See, the memory address is still the same, but then the, the, the most significant byte is going to occupy the smallest memory location, right? 